Hi everyone! In today's video we are going to talk about how you can add water to literally anything and everything with Substance CD sample. Let's get into it. Here you can see all my assets that I uploaded. For example, you can upload the material if you click on this, uh, this plus, plus button here and you can add any material to sampler that you've downloaded, for example, from Substance CD assets. And um, let's start with this material. It says um, Dry Beach Rock. I really like this material. I use it all the time. And uh, if you go to the start assets here, you can find water. And with this slider water level, you can decide about how much water you would like to add. And as you can see, it looks really cool. Let's spin it around a little bit. You can change the darkness of the water. Oh, it's really fun. Let's leave it like this. Uh, here you can also find if you type here water. Okay, we already have it here. So, what you can do with this is you can send this material right into Stager, for example. If you click here, share, send to Substance CD Stager. So, when uh, we go to Stager and we send material to Stager here, you can see that already it already opened and you can change the repetition, for example. Um, yeah, I already turned on the displacement on this object. Here you can find it in the object, uh, the properties panel. And then the object that you can find displacement and you can just turn it on. You can decide in between two, uh, two ways how you, you can get a little bit more geometry on this plane model. Um, in this case, I went for the total face budget and I set it to 200,000 and I think it works pretty well, but you can always go a little bit higher. When you have more geometry, you have more bumps on the surface, so I think it's good to switch off the background and now you can see how this material looks. I think, um, yeah, we need more a higher res resolution, so let's bump it up a little bit. And I think I need more uh, more water level. So maybe expose this parameter and then send it again to stager. Well, let's see. Oh yeah, here we are. And now you, here you can change the water level. That's so much fun. Five, six. So I wanted to create a ground material that where my products can reflect a little bit and give it just a little bit of a twist. I set up my camera as well with the depth of field and the focus point on the front of the product. It's just very interesting thing. And then you can always play with the lights and with the shift and the right mouse button you can turn around the environment light that you can you have here or you can just change it to another one. Here we have a lot of environment lights and you can just choose for example this one. You already have a different, a whole different effect. And if you would like to have a little bit a higher rocks, for example, you can you can just go to, to the material settings and to the height scale. And just bump it up a little bit. Okay. Even you can manually add the number if you want to go that much higher, for example, like this. So 
So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and see you on the next one.